everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i'm key this is keys playing life so really quick okay so i've made a lot of adjustments first of all excuse my nails because i had to miss my nail appointment because i had to work so you know the job comes first but i will be going to get them done really really soon like really soon but anyway that's not what this video is about I have made some changes and uh, two of those changes is my financial um, planner and my daily planner are now two separate planners. Um, I just felt like it was better for me. Although I could have kept them all in the same binder, I chose not to. I want them to have their own space um, and have their own little thing going on. So I did separate them. The second one, the second thing is I did decide to switch to the classic instead of the big happy planner. Um, I just like the classic better. I think it's a better binder. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, yeah, I think you can see. But I just think it's a better choice um, for me as of right now because I bought the Wild Style Planner a while back. And I don't know. I Sometimes I can be so indecisive. And I decided that I didn't want to use the Wild Style Planner. Because I had this whole idea of me making my own printouts and things like that. But then I decided, okay, you spent this money on this Wild Style Planner. And it's good till the end of, the, end of 2021. If you don't use it, then you're like wasting money. So I decided to go back to my Classic Planner use finish using the wild style planner so going into 2021 we will be using the wild style planner i did change the cover because i had a fake planner but that didn't work out either child see that's the good thing about planning you get to pick and choose what works for you through trial and error so I found that I can do my scriptures, I can do my, um, keep tabs on my workouts, keep tabs on um, the foods that I cook for the week and the appointments and things that I have going on and people that I have to meet in one binder. I don't need multiple binders to do that. So with that being said, we are starting over, honey. Now, I have already, um, what, and I, okay, so let me explain. These inserts, you're probably like, they're not wild style. No, because me t deciding not to use the wild style planner anymore, the inserts that I had from 2020, I threw away. So this starts technically in January of 2021, but I needed four inserts. I needed inserts for October, November, December, and February. I mean, October, November, and December. So... I had to buy a calendar insert. So that is what I did. So for the calendar, we kept it really simple. I just listed birthdays. I put a few stickers here already. So that's already done. Now, I didn't decorate this because this is already decorated in my big happy planner. And this week is really almost, this really, it's over. You know, we're going into Sunday. So this is really over. So we need to get next week's um layout done so what we're going to do today is we're going to do this week's layout um already i have listed the type of vlogs that i want to put out i was doing vlogtober but between me working trying to take care of home i'm in school my kids are in school then i still have to make sure i make time for my family and friends i just could not commit to vlogtober so Without further ado, you're going to see me set this week up and you will not hear any more talking from me. So, yeah, let's get started.
that is this week's layout. Y'all know when I do my layouts, I have no idea how it's going to turn out, what it's going to look like, what I'm doing. I think from now on, I'm going to like really pre-plan how I want a layout to look and kind of vision how we, in what direction I want it to go so the videos won't be so long. But I like trying to discover what I'm going to do and how I'm going to go about doing it myself. So that's what I typically do because I never know where I'm going with a layout. Um, we kept it simple. I kind of kept it with the colors that were already kind of schemed in here with the blues. I thought that was really pretty. I do recognize and know that it is October. I do not follow trends. Just because it's a season does not mean that I'm going to use the typical colors that you would normally use in a season. I'm not season. Um, now, not saying that I won't do a Halloween layout as we get closer to the 31st, but right now, I just don't want to. So, you won't see a lot of oranges and blacks and deep purples and things like that. I'm going to do what I want to do with each and every layout. So, yeah, this is my layout for the week of October the 12th through October the 18th. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I don't like a cluttered page because I like to leave room to write because I really do use my planners to write down things, whether it's an appointment, whether it's me like working out, whether it's me putting what I'm eating for the day. My scriptures go right here. Um, so I'm actually going to be writing that out and writing the word scriptures there. I might put a cute little sticker or something there. But I really utilize my planner, so I need room to write. It's okay to make them look pretty. It's okay to decorate them. And I'm not knocking those that do, but I like a more clean cut type of planner with a few little pretties on it so I can actually utilize what I bought this planner for, which is to plan my week out or plan my day out. So I'm going to get out of here. I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to think smart, spin smarter, and plan accordingly. Until next time, I am Key, and this is your weekly plan with me. Bye.